What's up, guys? Shadow Master EX back again with more of the Spooky Cup, and we have an interesting opponent using a Tangle and a Volcarona. I am fairly positive this isn't going to be another Trick Room team, but I'm also very unsure of what the best approach for dealing with this is. I mean, I can Sticky Web and deal some be a little bit annoying to some of these Pokemon, like they'll lose some speed, that'll be pretty cool. But I'm honestly pretty nervous about fighting Weavile, because I learned that that's generally not very fun. I'm nervous about Volcarona, because I don't really have anything for Volcarona. As much as I wish I did. I'm gonna bring Jellicent, just because Volcarona's over there, really. And... I need a hard hitter, and I'm not sure who's the better of the options, Gengar or Hydreigon, because I'm worried about, like, he's got a Gengar and a Hydreigon, I don't want to, like, grab the one that I don't need. Oh, man. I think I'm going to go Hydreigon here. That's the most time I've ever taken trying to make, well, probably not the most, but as far as the battles I recorded today... That was the longest it took me to decide who I'm bringing, so... This matchup's probably gonna be literally up in the air. Could go either way. So, Dropion and Gengar. I'm gonna say and assume I've learned my lesson about dealing with Gengar. But I don't know if I really have or not. I'm just gonna try this. I'm just, just gonna try it. See how this works. See how this, we'll see how this goes. I'm very happy already. I'm so happy right now. Oh my god. Let's try this now. Let's see how this one goes. Let's see how this one goes. Oh, Gengar is pack and protect. Alright. He didn't lead with it. That was interesting. Might be... Uh... Well... I honestly don't think Dropion's gonna one-shot me here. I really don't think that's happening. Oh man, it was close though. That attack drop mattered. So let's see, what's the best player right now? Go for a double down. Oh, shit. I almost swords danced when I did mean to swords dance. So we take out the Gengar here. Hopefully, Draco will take out that guy. I think I'm modest nature. I'm probably timid. Alright, fine, we're good. So it's... What, is that four against two now? I think it's four against two right now. The Weavile, that's what I was worried about. Hydreigon, also what I was worried about. This is the opportunity where I'm really wishing I had gotten off that tailwind. So I'm gonna have to just guess right now, pretty much. And just pray that my Hydreigon's faster than his Hydreigon. I, 
had some decent luck with that earlier, but I don't know if I will again. Come on. Oh, ooh, Heat Wave. He must be Scarf. Damn. Didn't I really didn't have very high hopes for that one. What's the goal right now? How is this one gonna go? Who's the bigger threat right now? Take down one of them guaranteed. But who should it be? And do I save Aegislash? I feel like I shouldn't save him. The heat wave. Alright, I'm gonna go on the Wii Ball. Just gonna put damage on people. Oh god. You had to have protect. This is probably not going to end very well. Damn, man. Really regretting not hitting the Hydreon. Would have been really cool if I could have avoided that. Not yep, it's over. Fuck man, it was going so well. It's really going so well. Alright, well we're just gonna have to pick it up in the next battle then. I should have given more of my Pokemon Protect, honestly, like. I swear. You pretty much have to use Protect in doubles. Because I know King Shield's been helping. So we got Jonas. Lower rating than ours. Hmm. That's an interesting team. That is an interesting team. I don't see Trick Room, but I do see a potential Scarf on the... What you call him? Toxic Rope. Oh, man. How many physical attackers? Two? Oh, my gosh. I really don't know what my best option right now is. I'm gonna try Aegislash, but this time I'm gonna find I'm gonna try and find a way to get up a Sword Stance. Cause I feel like Sword Stance is very important for me right now. I really do. Yeah, let's let's try that. Why not? Okay. Figured I'd change up the music too, cause you know why why not why not get a little, like, variety going. So Jonas is issuing a challenge. Age Slash and Gengar. That would imply that I'm faster, I believe. Hydreigon and Golurk. I think that is truth. 
but I'm not quite sure. I'm scared, honestly. Gonna go for a defensive round right now. Let's see what we can do here. Incinerate. That's interesting. Oh, I'm probably dead, aren't I? Fuck, I should have went for an attack. That's really irritating. Alright, let's try. Let's see how this goes. Oh man, first turn and we're already down one. I really gotta get it together. Incinerate them. Man, I I was not expecting incinerate. I didn't even know Hydragon got incinerate. That's so crazy, man. Can we get it can we score a kill? Fuck. All right, let's see. Let's see. Shadow punch. Can I take it? No. <sighs> That's really depressing. This is just going so bad right now. Catching a work from a fucking go work. I don't even know if this is one of those things that I can like come back from either. I think I really fucked up. At least I'm gonna get one kill. A flinch would be awesome. I wonder if this thing's banded or scar. Oh, dead. That's even better. Get these assholes out of my presence. So it's 2v2, just like that. Um. I don't think he had anything on his team that could outspeed my Galvantula, so I'm at least going to get off one more attack on him. Toxic Rope. That thing might be Scarfed. I might not like that. But all I can do is go for an all-out assault right now. So let's see what's going to happen. Sucker Punch on Galvantula would be shitty. That would be really shitty. But I don't think Jellison could take me out in one hit. But then I don't think Hydreigon could take it out. So, oh, there's a Sucker Punch. Unfortunate. I mean, I saw it coming, but, like, there wasn't a whole lot I could have done. Because Galvantula didn't have anywhere near enough health to, like, do anything other than attack. Like, that was the sad reality of it. So Will-O-Wisp, okay. The good thing here is I don't know how many... I don't think this thing's invested in special attack in the sense that it'll kill me in one shot. Maybe I can get some Dark Pulse flinches. I mean, I don't really want to like have to win that way, but I'll do it if I have to. And, dear God, I... Just wanna I wanna beat this guy, I really do. Let's see how much this will do. I feel bad about having gone for that Draco. So it's about a three hit KO. Oh fuck. 
That's not fun. That's really not fun. I wonder. Well, I mean, a flinch would turn this around, really. Flinch. <laughs> okay. I think right now I have to go for a Draco. And I literally just gotta pray that this Draco takes it down. Oh, man. It's gonna be close. At the very least, I can say this would be a close match. Win or lose. Oh, dude. Protect would be so evil right now. Please don't have Protect. Can I get a crit? Can I please get a crit? Please help me out. Come on, Hacks Gods. Oh, man. Pretty much over from there, isn't it? Oh my god, yeah. It's pretty over. Oh, if only I could have kept Galvantula. I'm gonna. Okay. Everybody pray. Pray right now. Pray that this crits. It's the mother mother of all crits. Come on. Come on, Hydrogon. It's your last shot. Strike as hard as you can. Oh, yeah. We're fucked. Oh, man. See, I was thinking about running Dragon Pulse over Draco Meteor. But I really... I wanted that hard-hitting power. I really do. And that hard-hitting power is awesome but ah oh man ah oh, i should have like white her that would have been fuck dude that would have been a good idea that would have been a great fucking idea so it looks like this is the last battle for the day which looking at the time that's about right we're at the 17 minute mark let's hope we can win this one because we are i'm slipping so bad right now so what do you got? Wyvern, X Cloud, Gel. Oh gosh, lots of really fast Pokemon. And Sticky Web is not gonna help. I really should have thought about the move set on Galvantula a little more. Time to risk it all. This is going to be the risk it all fight. So we're going to go all in. Do our damnedest to just strike back as hard as we can. Right, so we're faster. Or maybe not. Hmm. Best bet right now. God, the boat's really fast. That's really, really not good. I'm gonna stay in defense form. Hope that I can move one and hit and wide in. And I'm gonna bug buzz Weavile. So Dark Pulse. Hmm. Beat up. They knew I was Sash. That's why that just happened. That was actually a pretty scary first turn. I was like, oh man. Am I really about to lose my guy? I didn't know Noivern got Dark Pulse, though. That's interesting. Alright, who are you going to send out on your side? Hydreigon. Of all things, a Hydreigon. That's 
not really cool. So right now, I want to see if I can take down the Iron. I keep my H slash for another turn. I think that's what my priority should be right now, is making sure I keep him. And hoping that I can get off another hit. Psychic. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. I made the right call. Sadly, Galvantula is going to die. But I did make the right call there. Because I know Galvantula is faster than Hydreigon. One sixty-two. 172. So Gengar would be my fastest choice right now. Don't think I can take out that Nyvern with a Shadow Snake. I really don't think I can take it out with a Shadow Snake. So I'm just gonna have to. Hope for the best right now. Gengar's fastest. That's also I didn't want to risk missing the focus blast. I thought I could take it out with Shadow Ball. Thankfully I can. If Nyvern went for Gengar, I lost Gengar. If Nyvern went for Age of Slash, I might still have him. Who? I still got them both. Oh gosh. I know that my Gengar is the fastest on the field. That's good. Sometimes it's okay to attack last. I'm beginning to learn that that might be not such a horrible thing all the time. Because I have the ability to take advantage of my defenses. Which is good. This thing might be scarred. That'd be irritating. Can I land this Focus Blast? Didn't think so. Can I flinch this guy, though? Didn't think so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought Gengar lived for a second. It's like, what? Yep. That would've... Okay, yeah. That, that's asking a little too much. Even though it's a spread move, that's definitely asking a little too much. So, two chances to flinch, two chances to kill him, two stab moves, no need to go for Draco, because Draco misses sometimes. Don't want to go for a missing move and miss. So, thankfully, we were able to get that, pick up that last win. Our first day record isn't as great as I was hoping it was going to be. Like, uh, we started off really well, and it didn't particularly stay that way. But you know what? That's okay. It's okay. It's the first day getting used to things, and the more I fight these different Pokemon, the better I'll be at adapting to how they work. So, we're going to end our day four and six. Hopefully tomorrow we can pick up the slack and start building up a momentum for ourselves. So, that's going to be it for day one of the Spooky Cup. This is Shadow Master EX and Gengar signing off. I will see you guys next time.